On this Sunday, Pope Francis canonized two of his predecessors, Pope John Paul II and Pope John XXIII. It was a move that's been well received in Vatican City, but it also a decision here that has people rejoicing in Connecticut. News 8's Josh Scheinblum is live in News 8 Control to explain. Josh? Aaron, when a person is canonized, or in other words, recognized as a saint by the Catholic Church, it means that the religious body believes the individual bestowed with the honor is in heaven and through prayer can intercede in the affairs of the living. It's a belief at the core of the religion and one that's on full display in New Haven. Yes. The procession moves down State Street in New Haven, made up of Catholic yes. faithful. Their destination is just a few blocks away at the Knights of Columbus Museum. We invite you to go by our papal gallery, which is at the end of this corridor. Follow right around. We're inside. Look at the number of people. Believers cram together. Don't bring a big purse and push into people. Oh, did I do that? No, but everybody else has. But you just walk right around. It's like a big horseshoe. Okay. But crowns are just the cost of praying as one religious community. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Oh, the prayers are in here, too. In order to honor a holy relic. We're here on a mission. Believe me, I'm all, we're all happy to be here. That once belonged to one of two newly canonized popes. I wanted to honor the two popes because they were yes. so wonderful. These are the rosary beads that John Paul originally baptized. Uh, blessed for me, and now I'm going to be honored to be able to touch his relic with him. And when that contact between relic and personal item occurs, May while the moment is often brief, the faces of the devout say it all. That is very nice, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. It wasn't just the objects that are being touched, but souls. I'm completely devoted to this man. The relic you saw there is a small piece of cloth that was once a part of the clothing of John Paul II that he was actually wearing during an assassination attempt in 1981. And if you would like to see it in person, it will also be on display from 10 a.m. to 7.30 tomorrow. In News 8 Control, Josh Scheinblum, News 8.